All right, you guys, welcome to JT Livestock Company. So we had a lot of inbox messages about treasure here. We had lots of people that were trying to like buy her and then people that were mad because they were like, oh, I'll pay more. So long story short, this is Carly and Carly is actually Treasure's original owner. And I'm gonna turn the camera around. <laughs> so Carly actually saw when I posted her for sale and she's like, look, I think that is my pony. I think that was my pony. You know, I made like the Kansas high school finals honor. That was my pony. So her and I got to talking. And so the reason that so many of you were told no, that you had to wait and I could not sell the pony for more money or sell her out from under hers, I wanted to give Carly the opportunity to come get her pony back. Basically, you sold her two years ago to some people here in Texas for good money and they high school or junior rodeoed on her a little bit and for some reason they sold her to another family that didn't have her history and they didn't get along with her and they ended up taking her to the cell barn. So when I posted her, it was shocking for Carly to see her, but it was good because for what, two years you've been blocked. The people blocked you where you just had no way of knowing where she went or to see her. So I'm sure it was a shock when she like showed up. Yeah. It was a shock for her, but Carly made a lot of calls and she found her a home because Carly didn't need her back or you would love to have her back, but you didn't need her. Yeah, That's I'm why you, I go to school like six hours from where I live and where we're at. Cause you're going to school in Texas? No, I go to school in Kansas. In Kansas. Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, so they're from Kansas, which is cool. So she's probably ready to get back to better weather. Are you guys going from here back to Kansas? Yeah, so her friend met her with the trailer and they rushed to come get her bought. But she's gonna go to a little girl in Kansas that Carly knows and that way Carly never ever loses contact with Treasure again. Because she said on the phone to me, that pony was beside me through everything in my life and when she sold her it was out of necessity, not like it wasn't a greedy thing, it was a necessity. She started college and needed funds and this was a really good high school um, rodeo horse for somebody and you think when people pay the kind of money that she's cost that they would always take good care of them but sometimes when they get more expensive you know what I've learned sometimes the people with the most money they can just replace them so they're it's not an emotional bond for them so unfortunately she ended up no fortunately she ended up at the right cell at the right time because Jacob bought her and Carly was able to come pick her back up she just got done riding her and of course, we're sending her home with one of, um, so Shelby Massey makes these halters. So make sure if you don't mind, if you'll post a picture later on your Facebook, tag her. She's my favorite halter maker. I don't know if you notice how fitted they are. So make sure, so Shelby Massey makes these halters. I think she looks amazing in red, but we're gonna send her home with a brand new halter. And uh, yeah, so all right, you guys. No, ma'am, you get to go home. I think she's very appreciative though. Like the pony actually really likes me. And I think she's very, very, very appreciative of everything that we've done for her. She looks much better. Um, she looks much better than when she arrived. We've had the osteopath, the vet. Um, one of our gildings decided that he wanted to take a little snack. I almost feel bad telling the story about her tail, but I think I should. So the people that owned her prior, hold on one second, we'll tell the tail story. So the little girl that actually owned her last, um, her parents didn't have the heart to tell her like, hey, since the pony's not working out, we're selling it. So they told her it colicked and died and they cut the pony's tail off and gave it to her like as a memento and then took the pony to the cell barn. So it was kind of like a trash situation all the way around. Like it was very, the entire situation was not what dreams were made of, but it ended up being what dreams were made of because Treasure gets to go back home to Kansas. Carly gets to help the little girl now. And I think the whole reason that I was so adamant with Jacob on, yes, let's give her the chance to find her a home is because like Carly got blocked on social media where she didn't know where the pony went after they sold it, the, pe the people she sold it to. So just kind of a trash situation, but all right, I feel good. Give me a hug. I'm sweaty, but listen, I really am glad that you're gonna stay in touch with her. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry you lost track of her for so long. I'm still in shock. I still, you, I'm still in shock. So she's like, I think you have my pony. And I'm like, yeah, no. She sends the pictures and the mare has a divot in her shoulder and you could see it. Like you could see it and you should have seen my face. I was like, that is the same pony. <laughs> Did you feel that way? Kind of like, I, I literally, I don't even know how I felt. Like, I was like, I don't even know how I felt. Like, I was like, I don't even know how I felt. Like, I was like, I don't even know how I felt. Like, I was like, I don't
how I watched the video because like, I caught the back half of it. I had a second at work and I just opened up Facebook and I wasn't even paying attention. It's just like I You saw, knew that was her. I saw her turn it in pole and her style is so like noticeable. People like anybody who's You were like, holy run. shit, there she is after two years of being blocked. Like there's my pony. High five. Okay. Yes, thank you. Alright you guys, bye.